Welcome back, everyone, to another intense and really sickening episode of Let's Play Heavy Rain. In our last episode, Ethan started trial number three, and oh boy, what a trial it is. He has basically given five minutes to cut off his finger, and now we just gathered all of the stuff, all the materials. I think we've gotten him prepared to do this, so it's pretty much now or never, but ultimately... You know, I would definitely give a limb for my son, so it's going to hurt, but you know what? Losing your son, like, that's 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 going to hurt longer. You know, eventually, you're, eventually a finger is going to heal. It's going to be horrible when it act, when during, but it's it's a temporary pain. Whereas if you lose your son, that pain will last for the rest of your life. Like, you take that pain to the grave, essentially. So, yeah. I'm gonna... try it. L1. I guess this is a... Yeah, I'm kinda aiming. Alright. I gotta do it. Do it! I only have 1 minute 30 seconds left. All right, you better be watching. You have one minute and 30 seconds how, left. How horrible would it be if the origami killer was like, oh, whoops, like he, he's coming back from the bathroom in the meantime. It's like, oh, whoops, I missed it, sorry. <laughs> You're gonna have to do it again. <laughs> oh, jeez, that would be terrible. All right, calm down, Ethan, your heart's pounding. You know, my heart's pounding. The controller is pounding, like my heart's pounding with this. They did a really good job of making, invoking this whole scene and transferring the feeling that Ethan's going through to the player. I love this game for that. Oh, Ethan! I'm sorry! Oh. Sorry, I hesitated too much. I hesitated too much. I just have to go for it. One more minute, Ethan. <laughs> Look at me cutting it close. That's just me. It's It just makes it more exciting, guys. <laughs> all right, all right, Ethan, calm down. You have less than a minute. L1. R1 and you go! Ah! Oh. Is it a clean cut? Yeah, I think it's a clean cut. I think we did. I think we did. We made the right decision. It's done and it's over with. Ooh. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry, Ethan. It's all right. It's okay. This pain will pass. This, you gotta think of your son. You gotta think of your son. It's okay. It's only a finger. You didn't have to cut off an arm or anything. It's okay. Or a hand. A hand or an arm. I mean, that would have been far worse. But still, I mean, that's a part of you that's gone forever. But you know what? Better that that part of you has gone forever than your son. The, the metal ball. Under the desk. <laughs> the pain. My finger. My finger. I did what I had to, Sean. I love you. Yeah, I know. I love you. I know. You are an awesome father, Ethan. Yeah, cauterize it. We already disinfected it. We already disinfected it, so now we gotta cauterize it. It was a clean cut, so I, I'm, I'd like to think that its chances of being infected are nil. I mean, we don't know where the axe has been, but I think it'll be okay. Oof. I know, I know, Ethan. I know, Ethan. Okay. It's alright, you, you did it, you did it, it's done. It's done, it's done. You got your reward. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely tough. This is a this is definitely one of the more infamous parts of the game. Is this part, this trial right here. Cuz it's just like something out of out of saw, basically. All right. Give me my give me my letters, punk. All right, Ethan. You did well. You did very well, Ethan. I'm proud of you. Oh, dear Lord.
All right. It's okay. I'm sure the pain's subsiding very soon. It's okay. You only have two more trials left, buddy. Two more trials and you're done. You're done. Okay. Madison's gonna... Now Madison's gonna find us. Okay, now you lost a finger. Seriously. Like, I can't even imagine what's going through this woman's head every single time. She keeps seeing this poor guy, like, missing parts of their body, burnt, stabbed, shredded. Now, this is a really cool scene, because it makes liberal uses of those side screens. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Oh, boy. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. Whatever. Whatever, Blake. What the fuck is that girl doing there? If Mars comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. Looks like Madison followed him. To followed Ethan to this place. What exactly is Madison up to? I guess she just really wants to help. The police. They staked out the building where Ethan is. Well, don't mind me. I'm just... Making my way into this burned out building because I'm supposed She's going inside to be in here. Maybe she lives there. Well, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. Yeah, that's We've gotta find another way out. Problem. That's a problem. Shit. Jeez. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word. Gotta find a way out. Gotta find a way out. All right. Don't panic. Don't panic. They're still out there. We've got to find another way. Yeah. Come on. Think of something. Think of something fast. Gotta find I a way. Can't get out that way. Oh yeah, that's right. That's where we came. Yeah, my finger's still in there. Might the not want to go in there. There's got to be a solution. Wait, I don't want to go that way. I want to go. We've got to get out of here fast. The cops are gonna break in any second. He looks bad. What happened? Yeah, maybe if we move this, we can go through this door where we're leaving. Yeah, let's get out. Uh oh. All right, never mind. Apparently, that wasn't an exit. Great. Jeez. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Push whatever this. Ugh. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. We gotta get Ethan out of here. Yeah, just these are these must be some really heavy boards. They look pretty thin. I don't know, like I know Madison's not probably not the strongest of girls, but I wouldn't. Maybe they're just really dense, really dense wood. Can you open the window? That's not work. Shit! It's too high. All right. Well, find something to stand. There you go. Find something to stand on. Come on, girl. <sighs> Got to do this for Ethan. This good Ready Samaritan. I go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Oh no. Two men at the door. Hold your positions. It's a go. Gotta get out, we gotta get out. Madison, open the darn window. Just, just fling it open. There. Come on, okay. let's go this Ethan. way. Ethan, Ethan, come on. Oh, they're coming, they're coming. This is so cool. I love how you can see what Jaden and Blake are, are doing. It just helps the intensity of this scene. Go, they're right by the door. And apparently they're just standing there, so just, just go. Madison, yes. No, they're waiting for the backup, I guess. Jeez. Keep going. 
Give him the slip, keep going. Hey you, don't move! I'll no. shoot! Come on! Quick! Alright, I can't get out. In the air. Uh Okay, I guess he's not yeah. gonna shoot. There's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit! It's that girl who went in! Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! It's Follow like, them! It's like, stop or I'll shoot! Oh man, she walked away from me. She turned around and walked away. Doggone it! Foiled again. Oh, he's the gotta subway. get to the subway. Shit! They spotted us! We need to move while we still have a chance. What the hell am I doing? Helping a fugitive escape? I must be Whoa, completely controls. out of my mind. Controls. I better leave him and get the hell out of the here. The controls are I being a pain in the butt right now. now. What are you doing, Madison? What the heck? Oh, jeez. Don't move or I'll shoot. Well, this actually worked out really well. Well, I'm, I'll explain why. Like, it's not what you think. I'll explain why later. He, Madison kind of disappeared, though. Oh, jeez. She must feel really bad leaving him, but I guess maybe... Maybe she figures if she escapes, she might be able to spring him somehow, or... I don't know. But anyway, the reason why I said that was a good thing, guys, is because... In my very first playthrough, I actually uh, did get caught by the police. It's possible, it is possible for you to play through that scene and escape successfully from Jaden and Blake. But um, in my because in my first playthrough, I got caught because I was, again, having... You saw how much problems I was having with the controls. And the same thing just happened to me now. So, and that was why I got caught, was because the, that, the controls in that part is horrendous. But um, it's good that I got caught, because I want to stay true to my first playthrough. I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. Exactly. You still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. Come on, Ethan, you can trust Naman. Come on, come on. Ethan, I'm trying to help you. I just want to understand what happened. But you have to trust me. Exactly. I love that that shot, by the way, of the close-up shot of Jaden telling him he needs to trust him. Look at these, Ethan. Look at these! Eight photographs. Eight lives taken. Drowned. In the goddamn rain! Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive! Talk to me, Ethan! Say something! Come on, Ethan! You gotta... You gotta meet him halfway! Dude, say... Don't just stand there, say something! Tell him what you know! Give him information, something! Tell him what you know! Ethan, say something, for God's sake! Why are you just not saying anything? Come on, man. Dude. I kidnapped my son. No, no, don't say that. That's not what I meant when I said say something. It's not what I... Back up a little I bit. I can't remember what happened. Ah, oh, jeez. No, no. I don't know where he is. Don't believe him. Don't believe him, Jaden. He's lost a finger. The only way to find him to let me out of here. The man cut off his finger. I'm the only person who can save him. He doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't know what he's saying, Jaden. Just... Uh, um... You say you can save him, but you don't know where he is. That doesn't make sense, Ethan. Exactly. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Uh, Time's running out, Ethan. Oh no. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. He didn't do it, Blake. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. He doesn't know, Blake. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. 
Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? I told you, I don't know. You're wasting your time. Whoa! Wrong answer. Blake! What are you doing? This guy's a killer! He's got no fucking rights! What? He's gonna tell me everything! Seriously? Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm not oh. even gonna play this game. I'm just gonna... There. Not even giving you a second warning. Come on, asshole! I've been waiting for this for a long time. Oh, come on, come on, you pussy. know what, punk? See what you, got. you know what? There! Thank you. Thank you, Nauman. Oh! Wait a minute. Games, asshole. Come on. Let's play a little game. Are you kidding me? You're out of your mind, Blake. Seriously? This is gonna cost you your badge. Exactly. You better you get are... the hell out of here, Norman. You are out of control. Into the temptation of painting the walls with your fucking brains. You are nuts. And my thoughts exactly, Norman. Ah, oh, jeez. He's gonna kill him. That is not the way it's gonna go. I'm gonna tell the whole story to Captain yes. Perry. Yes, seriously. I am so telling. I'm so telling on you, Fuck. Blake. That asshole has gone too far this time. That bastard is gonna beat a confession out of Mars. He just wants a culprit, even if it's the wrong guy. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Captain. Blake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars. You've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises. You've... You can't what? make omelets without breaking a few God Goddamn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. Oh, you need some time off to think it through. You did not! Oh, I'm surrounded by morons. Seriously? Jaden, you gotta get back in there. You gotta get back in that room. No, don't take the Tripto. Don't you, don't you dare take the Tripto, man. You can fight this. You're stronger than this, buddy. Come on, Jaden, don't do this to me. I know, it's easier said than done, though. I mean, if you're really addicted to a drug, it's hard. It's tough. Like, it's, you know, it's tough for people to get out of that, you know, get out of that habit. Smoking too, like it's not easy at all. So, more power to him for being as strong as he is. Oh gosh, so I guess we're playing the piano now. Uh, L2, okay. R2? Okay, here we go. Where did this piano come from? Uh. <sighs> this is my first time like being so intense over playing the piano well I guess you can be intense playing the piano but this is like adrenaline rush adrenaline playing the piano oh my gosh <laughs> oh I actually did I actually did that flawlessly go me your vodka sir Thank you, Alfred. Thanks. You look preoccupied. Yeah, well. You don't mind my saying so. It's okay. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. Yeah, well. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Yeah. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Yeah, thanks, Alfred. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you-know-what. 
Yeah, the trip to Cain. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. You should listen to him, Naaman. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but it's difficult. Yeah, I know. I know, it buddy. It gets more and more difficult. I know, pal. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Yes, because you are awesome, Jaden. I want to... Poor Jaden. He looks really down. I want to give him a big hug. Uh, if I could give you a big hug right now, Norman, I totally would. <sighs> oh, we're, in, we're on Mars? I don't... This is probably my least favorite of the background themes. No, I, I don't want... I don't want... Let's change, let's change the office again, because I'm not a big... Yeah, it's, it's just too barren. It's just too barren and red, and I just find that boring, so... Give me something more scenic. We already did the underwater, which was my favorite. Now, see, I can't, this is like my second favorite. On top of one of these, I don't know what these column things are called, but yeah. All right, now I'm done. Now let's look at our clues. Well, well, looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Yeah. Well, it's worth a try. Let's analyze. What do we got? A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. Ooh. When in the opposite direction at 1637. Uh, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Right. Could it be the killer's car? I bet you it is. Let's check the geoanalysis. I don't think there's going to be any geoanalysis. Yeah, not for that video. All right, so we've got a lead. We already uh, we had a car. Eddie, we can't see the driver's face. It's okay. Get what you can. Analyze it. Chevrolet registered to back nine six seven. Car was stolen. Registration. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Hmm. Not enough evidence. All right. Well, is there any? No, not not for this. All right, it's Jackson Neville. Let's take a look at Jackson Neville. Born September twenty. Jackson Neville, 21st. A.K.A. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. No, of course he is. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Yeah. Well, that works. All right, sure. Let's go with it. <sighs> all right, all right. But first things first, before we go out and chase after that lead, there's still Ethan that we have to take care of. We can't let him stay here. He's not, he's innocent. I can't let Blake, whatever he's doing to Ethan, I can't let him continue. No, I, I can't just stand by and watch. I'm gonna help Mars get out of here. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Norman. I should consult my superiors. Maybe, <sighs> no, that's stupid. I gotta handle this on my own. I gotta find some way to get Ethan Mars out of here. Even if there's only a one in a thousand chance he's telling the truth, he may still be able to save his son. That's, yeah, exactly. So glad you're thinking with reason. But you're a smart guy, so... Huh? What's going on? Did Mars confess? No, not yet. He lost consciousness. We'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. He must be tougher than I thought. Tough or not, he'll crack. They all do. In any case, congratulations, Lieutenant. What? You've done a fine job. Excuse me? I've called a press conference. Gonna what? kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be quite an event. Oh, no, 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 no. That Don't is... you want to wait till we actually got his confession? No point. What? We got him dead to rights. What the That's heck? That's all the press wants to know. <laughs> oh. Ethan Morris is innocent. He truly believes that he alone can save Sean. What if he's right? I'll play those odds. I've got to get him out of here. Yes. He may be guilty, 
He's acting odd, his statements are all confused, and heck, he never said he wasn't the origami killer. But you don't believe that, you don't believe that he's actually guilty, though. My gut feeling is that Mars is innocent, and I gotta get him out of here. Yeah, go with that. That shithead Perry doesn't give a damn if Blake beats up a witness or if Mars is innocent. All he wants is to be able to tell the press they've arrested the origami killer. Yes, and that's just... That's... That's just wrong. I just don't believe he's guilty. Nothing about him matches the killer's profile. Well, he's white and he drives a car. You know, I mean, he fits a bunch, a couple of the things. Well, we're not gonna, we're not gonna leave Ethan, and we're not indifferent. Um, interrogation room. Well, if we're gonna, if we're gonna, if we're gonna let Ethan escape, I should probably turn this off. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Oh my gosh. Mars is on the, he's, Mars is down. Jeez. Blake, well, I'm glad that Blake didn't end up killing him, but he probably beat him up a bunch of times. Not that the poor guy can actually tell him anything substantial. Ugh. Has he confessed? Hmm. Not yet. Good. I see. Leave us alone. I, uh, Lieutenant Blake said to- Please, leave us alone. Yes, please. Right, uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. Nam and Jaden wants Ethan all to himself. <laughs> there's, there's some pictures that are popping into my head now. Christ. are you all right, Ethan? Ah. <sighs> uh, uh, uh. Hmm. All right. I gotta end the video here now that now that Ethan is alone with Norm and Jaden. <laughs> oh, let the slash fiction begin. Let the slash fiction commence, everybody. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Let's Play Heavy Rain. Tune in next time, everybody. And until then, love yourselves and love each other.